These are my newest art tiles that I worked on over the weekend. And I'm going to start down here <laughs> with my boo-boo. And it only looks this good after a lot of reworking. I tried first stamping and embossing the um, ghost, if you can even see it, yeah, barely there, with, um, I just did it with the Versamark and with some glitter, some emboss, you know, embossing powder with some glitter in it. And after I put the uh, triple thick glaze on it, you could not even see it. He completely disappeared. So, I uh, stamped him again and embossed him with some pearl because I only have three colors, clear, some clear with glitter, and <laughs> the pearl. And of course, when I heat set the glitter this time it bubbled all of the triple thick which I knew it would so then I went back over it again with another and it has some dimension and the base underneath actually the green I bubbled it on purpose I wanted it to look like you know whatever they have in the bubbly witches cauldron <laughs> then there's this one which I absolutely love I just painted it with a dark 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 Prussian blue on the back. Same thing, did that ghost with the uh, pearl embossing powder. And then went over the background with some... Mm -hmm. I just got this. It's that glitter paint. Folk art glitter paint. And I just got the, I just got the silvery one, whatever it is. It's shot, like clear with iridescent glitter in it. Then I did this one and I just embossed this little bat. I stamped him in black but then I embossed him with clear because I don't have any black. And uh, when I did I let some of the um, embossing powder stick to the background. I wanted it to try to look like stars in the background which it really didn't turn out like that but I did like the effect that it gave. And again this was on that same green background. Here's the other one that I did with the, where I bubbled it first. I bubbled all the paint before I even started. And then, I wish you could see the depth on this one. is actually pretty cool. Um, the spider has black glitter on his body. And he's actually dangling from a little tiny faint string. I don't know if you can see it. And this one's got some a little bit of antiquing and several different things done to it. And then it has the glitter. It actually has it on there quite, quite a bit more than what you can see. But anyway, so there's that one. And then this one has the glimmer spray. And then I, that's one of those water, um, water release decals, just from the dollar store, you know, kids tattoo thing. And with a little piece of bling set in the, in the glaze. Same thing, one of those tattoos, and the glimmer spray, of course I did on the black, and then after I put the tattoo on, and put the, I actually put Mod Podge, <laughs> between the triple thick and the tattoo, tattoo, Mod Podge, triple thick, and it did help to hold the color in the tattoo better, it did not bleed out like it did before, so, Thanks, Terry, and everybody else who gave me that wonderful suggestion. It did work. Okay, and then there's this one. My black ink pad is running out of ink. This one, I did not sand the paint before I did the stamping, and I like the distressed look. <coughs> The distress look it uh, it made. This one, the black is a little bit better on the stamp where the magic is, and then that's another one of those tattoos. And then oh, I love the way this one turned out. Another one of those water release tattoos, decals, whatever you want to call it. 
I just really, really love it. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I've been up to over the weekend. I know it doesn't really look like <laughs> look like much, but hey, there you go. I'll put those together probably as a set. And I have no clue what I will use them on. Uh, it's funny, I can see them better from... Anyway, <laughs> my camera is so weird. Shuts itself off telling me that the battery needs replacing, needs charging. And so I turn it off and I turn it back on, you know, and it's a quarter charged. So, anyway. <clears throat> anyway, that's what I've been up to. <laughs> What I did over the weekend, and um, why I came back, I have no idea. Oh, just say, okay, bye everybody. <laughs>